going back to the second half of last week, are you disappointed you could have come to make more make more of the uh, comeback? In the second half yeah. of Crawley, oh, yeah. we might well have got into into the game. I think that we, in both the South End match and the Crawley match, we started reasonably well. Didn't last long, but we had we had a very good chance at Crawley with um, uh, Mark Wright at the back post, and then the flick on from the corner. So we might well have taken the lead. So it wasn't it wasn't that we come out of the dressing room uh, cold. We were nice and bright, but we started to be worn down by our own errors more than anything else and that gave the Crawley players a lift it gave the crowd a lift uh, and we contributed to our own downfall I don't, I don't think there's a doubt about that then second half and we, and we hadn't uh, in that period we didn't pass the ball as well as we can now second half we upped the tempo we started to pass the ball and we created a number of good chances that uh, we could easily have, have, have taken a point from the match but the first half performance was the one that um, in the main caused us a lot of concern, and that's the thing that we can't we can't take again. Mm -hmm. Is there a danger of underestimating Rotherham tomorrow? Do you think? No, no, no. As I say, I think they signed some very good players in the summer, and it was no surprise to me when they were up around the top of the table uh, after the first few weeks of the season. Um, but like teams sometimes do, they've hit a real bad patch for whatever reason. But they are still a threat up front, uh, and uh, going forward, they could cause a lot of sides trouble. Uh, and having said that, they've conceded a lot of goals in this five-game uh, losing sequence. So we've got to go and cash on that. We've got to, uh, we've, we've got to put them under pressure, keep them on the back foot, keep them anxious, and keep the crowd anxious. And does it help having the experience of Ian Sharps in there as you know, a former Northern player? Well, it's, it, it, it helps having uh, experienced players like Ian Sharps uh, performing so that everybody else can take their, the example from them. And you need, at this stage now, the big players, the experienced players, to really come to the fore, to really set the example for, for the younger players, for the rest of the team. And, you know, when you look through it, we've got Ian Sharps, we've got Nicky Rowe in midfield, we've got Marvin Morgan at 28. There's the spine of the team of experience. The, the, we really need those now to shine through.